Human life is so precious, such an amazing gift that so many take for granted these days. It's not something that should just be chucked away or disposed of. So I really hope this video makes a difference, guys. Please share it. And as always, you beautiful people, thank you so much for watching Signs and Wonders. If it's your first time here, please subscribe. I've added a clip in this video of the actual fertiliz fertilization and gestation period. It's really interesting, so you guys are going to want to stick around and watch the full video. Fertilization. The father's sperm and the mother's egg unite. Genetic instructions from each of the two individuals combine to form a unique individual, barely visible to the human eye. Tabor's Cyclopedic Medical Dictionary describes what happens next. Following fertilization, cells multiply, which results in a formation of morella, which in turn develops into a blastocyst consisting of trophoblast and inner cell mass. And sorry if I pronounce some of these medical words wrong. Day 1. The first four cell divisions take place as the blastocyst travels down the mother's fallopian tubes towards the uterus. Five to nine days, the blastocyst now consists of about 256 cells and implants in the uterus. At 14 days, the mother's menstrual period is suppressed by her child's chemical signals. At 20 days, the heart of the baby human is in the advanced stages of formation. Her beautiful little eyes begin to form. Her brain, spinal column, and nervous system are virtually complete. At 24 days, the pre-born baby's heart begins to beat. By 28 days, the baby's muscles are developing. Her arm and leg buds are visible, and her first neocortical cells appear. The neocortex is the seat of complex thinking and reasoning, and it is present in no other mammal. The pre-born child has now grown in size by a factor of 10,000 since fertilization. Blood flows into the baby's own veins separate from her mother's blood. At 35 days, the baby's pituitary gland, mouth, ears and nose take shape. 42 days, the baby's heart energy output is an incredible 20% of an adult's already. The cartilage skeleton is completely formed and ossification into bone begins. The baby's brain coordinates voluntary movement of muscles and the involuntary movement of organs. Reflex responses are present. The baby's mother misses her second menstrual period. At 43 days, the preborn baby's brainwaves can be recorded. At 45 days, the baby begins spontaneous and voluntary body movements, and her milk teeth buds are present. At 7 weeks, the lips of the baby human are sensitive to touch, and her ears resemble her family's pattern. The first fully developed neurons, which are nerve cells, appear on the top of her spinal cord, beginning construction of the brainstem. This portion of the brain regulates vital functions such as breathing, heartbeat, and blood pressure. 8 weeks. The preborn baby is about 1.5 inches long and 1 30th of an ounce in weight. All organs are present, complete, and functioning except the lungs. Her stomach produces digestive juices, her liver makes blood cells, and her kidneys are functioning. Her taste buds are forming and her unique fingerprints are being engraved. All this at only an inch and a half long, guys, remember. Her eyelids and the palms of her hands are sensitive to touch. Of the 45 total generations of cell replication that will take place by mature adulthood, fully two-thirds have already taken place. 9 weeks. The preborn baby can bend her fingers around an object placed in her palm. Her fingernails are forming and she sucks her thumbs. 10 weeks. All sections of the preborn baby's body are sensitive to touch. She swallows, squints, frowns, and puckers up her brow. If her palm is stroked, she will make a tight fist. 11 weeks, the preborn child makes all facial expressions, including a smile. She's now breathing amniotic fluid steadily and will continue to do so until birth. Her fingernails and toenails are now present. Her taste buds are working. She will drink more amniotic fluid if it is artificially sweetened and less if it is given a bitter taste. 
12 weeks. Vigorous activity shows the distinct personality of the baby human. Some babies hiccup constantly, others may cry. The baby can kick, turn over, curl, and fan her toes, make a fist, and open her mouth and press her lips tightly together. 13 weeks. The preborn child's facial expressions resemble those of her parents. Her movements are vigorous and graceful. Her vocal cords are present, and in rare cases, when air enters the uterus temporarily, babies have been heard crying. The sex of the baby can now be determined. She can now hear. Four months, the preborn baby can grasp with hands, swim, and turn somersaults. Her mother may feel her movements for the first time. Her eyelashes are now present. Rapid eye movement, indicative of dreaming, can now be recorded. A very bright light shined on the mother's abdomen will cause the baby to slowly move her arms and cover her eyes. Loud music will cause the baby to cover her ears. Five months. The preborn baby human has formed her own unique sleeping habits by now. She responds to sounds that are of frequencies that exceed adults' audible range. She may be soothed to sleep by gentle music. Fine hair grows on her head and eyebrows. Six months. Most babies are viable at this point, 24 weeks or about 60% of full gestation. Eyelashes appear. The baby's weight is now about 22 ounces and her height is about 9 inches. 7 months. The baby's weight increases to over 1 kilogram or 2.2 pounds. The baby's eyes and teeth are now present. Her eyes open and close and she explores her surroundings. Her hands can support her entire weight at this time. She also recognizes her mother's voice. 8 months. The baby's weight increases to over 2 kilograms or 4.4 pounds and her quarters become cramped. 9 months. In the final 6 weeks of gestation, the baby gains as much as an ounce of weight per day. The lightest baby ever born to survive weighed 8 ounces. Of the 45 total generations of cell replication that will take place by mature adulthood, 41 have already taken place. The baby now has about 2 trillion cells. The remaining 4 generations of cell replication will occupy all of the person's childhood and young adulthood. Interesting fact, in developmental terms as measured by cell replication, we spend 90% of our lives in utero.
human development begins at fertilization and that new beautiful miracle of life is a baby human. <laughs>